So we had about a million, um, not a million, I don't know, thousands of quotes for different stuff. It was all super, super high for having all the work done. And Paul came and saved the day with his dad. So thanks for that. Usable. <laughs> Usable. <laughs> Another vlog, another day. So everyone's working hard in the office. There's Jordan. There's Luke. And we've got Fia over here with my hoodie on. <laughs> and guess what she's doing? What are you doing? Trying to open a box. She's also vlogging. So we've got all... <laughs> what have you got? Mm. We've got the builders coming in and out as well. Ooh, oh, yours looks better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both going to be vlogging. So if you want to follow Fia's vlog of the gym, what do we have to do? Go on Instagram first. Instagram first, which is on the screen. Empowered Fit. Empowered Fit Fia. Empowered Fit Fia. Which will be on the screen now. So this is, um, this is Paul. <laughs> Paul saved the day. So we had about a million, um, not a million, I don't know, thousands of quotes for different stuff. It was all super, super high for having all the work done. And Paul came and saved the day with his dad. So thanks for that. Usable. <laughs> Usable. It's tough. What are you doing? I'm getting some pipe work in for you to make you nice and warm in here, Chris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sound like that, I'm looking after you. Being looked after, aren't we? Yeah, not, not so much by Paul, though. You know, he's like, put a camera in his face and he's like, <gasps> there's a camera! <laughs> Chris said, can you bring up the elbow grease as well? What was that? Yeah. You haven't got a product to work, have you? Yeah. Send me for work, Stella. So today, as you've seen, was a busy day with the builders um, doing the gas and all bits and bobs like that. And we announced a location <laughs> on Facebook of the gym with a quite a quirky, funny marketing video. Um, have a little look round, you know where we are, don't we? Don't you? We're in Morton. So basically all the signs and all the cars will be gone from here in the next week or so. All the equipment comes in the next, um, in the next week or so as well after the build is being done. And we should be ready and on track to be open on the 22nd of um, next month. So I'm just heading home now. Um, I'm going to do some reading around market research and things like that to understand gyms a little bit better because the 2016 market research came out um, a couple of months ago. So I'm going to read through that and still cracking on, getting stuff done. <laughs> So I'm back home, it's pretty late now, um, super tired today and because I was so busy during today I missed one meal so I'm going to have that now and I've got a huge bowl of, um, what have I got, potatoes, lettuce, um, stir fry, pickles, cucumber, all that mixed together. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much busy so I only managed to get about three meals in a day in the moment. So I'm sitting here eating, learning a bit more about marketing from Gary V, um, and thought I'd let you into the 
or explain a little bit about the marketing side of Empowered Fit and what I'm doing here. So basically I've got like, uh, I tried to explain this yesterday on the uh, vlog but the wind was blowing too much but basically I've got two heads. I've got my business head which is, um, well, let's go with the other head first. So the other head is what I've been doing for a long time which is helping people, helping them improve, helping them get better at life. All of the stuff around that, with money being the, the 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 most relevant part of it, but of course money can come with that. And then the other head is my business head, which is a bit of a geek, a bit geeky, um, where I've got to create a profitable business. I've got to ensure that the marketing is on point, the strategy is on point, the the, the one year plan, the six year, sorry, the five year plan, the ten year plan is all on point. Every tiny figure or number is going to add up to make sure the business s survives right so that's one of the that, that's the two heads where i am at the moment in my life is i've got a I've got a huge business it's it's an eight thousand square foot gym of course there's a lot of outlay and a lot of money i've got to spend and i've got to spend it cleverly but the good news about opening this gym is of course it's going to create more revenue and more money which of course then helps me give back which is why i'm putting a lot of competitions on social media and on facebook it gives me money to be able to help you guys and help other people become better at life better at fitness and i think vlogging this will be awesome because it helps people in so many different ways i mean maybe i'll inspire somebody else to then do their own uh, business do their own thing that they're passionate about so when you wake up in the morning you do something that you love every single day and it's nothing to do with money but of course money will come with it and that's where I am now I'm opening a gym and um, I've got all my clients and I've got all the people that are going through Empowered by Eating it's absolutely awesome and I'm just happy and fulfilled every single day and money is irrelevant money doesn't even come into that equation so by doing this vlog I think I can help people progress get better um, eat better um, exercise more become healthier you know just enjoy and love life more um, and I think it would be cool for my children and my grandchildren to be able to see what's going on now to to have created um, what I've created in terms of the Empower Fit, Empowered Fit Gym and more so any entrepreneurs that are following me will be able to see what goes on behind the scenes and why I'm doing what I'm doing so in essence when it comes to marketing I am just simply just using the marketing the latest marketing where the attention is where are people's eyes and where are people looking you know wh wh where where am i going to grab their attention to be able to market a gym to them for example so it used to be print used to print leaflets i don't know i just got home here today and i opened a letterbox and there's leaflets in there from pizza places and it just become junk and you don't even look at them right so that would be pointless it used to be leaflets where you would go out and post leaflets through people's doors like that. It used to be banners and billboards and things like that. That's where people used to be. But where are people now? And that's the most important thing for me as a, as a business practitioner or as an entrepreneur, whatever the hell you want to call me, is where is the attention? And it's here. It's in the mobile phone. When people are opening the letterbox, they're probably on the phone. When people are driving, um, sorry, in a passenger seat on the car, they're probably on the phone, they're not looking at billboards and they're not looking at, you know, anything as a driving pass. When people are driving, they're probably on the mobile phone. So the idea is, is that I just want to be in this mobile phone and I want to be in Facebook and I want to be in here when people are just sitting there doing this. I want to capture this fun movement that the world is doing at the minute it'll probably change like whatever it'll change but for now it's just that so what did i do this week is we gave one year's free gym gym membership away with an awesome 3d mock-up from um from primal and the, the gym equipment best gym equipment i've seen and that's why we bought them um that reached 16k people in 24 hours 16,000 people in 24 hours Imagine giving 16,000 leaflets out and they're all going to be ignored anyway. 
So let's say out of that 16,000 people, not all will have watched it, um, listened, right? Um, watched the video, but 16,000 people were reached. Then we gave a Fitbit with a location away, uh, it was guessing the location because we kept that secret and it was really funny because we were trying to keep it secret, but of course, everyone knew anyway because we had like people come and price to, uh, to fix the unit up and the changing rooms and the toilets and we were trying to get the best price and the people who could do it. So of course, everybody, everybody was knowing where the gym was anyway, but we pretended to be, be a secret. It was just a little bit of marketing really. Um, and it worked. The Fitbit went out, another 10,000 people reached. Um, great little bit of marketing. And of course I can give back by giving somebody a Fitbit. Um, and that was just far better than, you know, prints or leaflets or anything like that. So that's all I did. So we then did a funny video today, which was part of why we've been busy today to give out the new, um, to give the, the, the location of the gym um, away and give the Fitbit away. And we did a draw, but during the draw, we kind of did a little funny story in the middle of it. You might have seen it on social media. Um, and yeah, that's that's where we are so far with the marketing. Um, I've, uh, I hope you can maybe share this vlog if somebody else is not doing this type of marketing. And you can kind of, kind of I've kind of explained it a little bit, maybe different than other people. Um, but yeah, all in all, everything else is absolutely awesome. Everything is within strategy, um, everything is in step by step like I've planned it. Uh, I'll show some of the tools maybe another day what I'm doing. But for now, I will see you tomorrow and I'm going to finish eating my salad and stop talking. Wait, how did so many people know? I don't know. Did you tell anyone? Not really. How about you? Not really. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm interested in um, getting a quote for fitting the AstroTurf. Um, yeah, it's 20 metres by 14 metres. It's, pr it's pretty big. I uh, just wanted to get a quote on that. The address. Um, just, just, just one second. We can't give the address, can we? You can have to. Um, I can't really give you the address. It's it's like a secret location. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, the address is Unit Twenty Five. <laughs> I'll have to just give you it. Won't I? Unit Twenty Five, Tarran Way East, in Morton. Basically, if you go from the cross in Morton, you drive down, take a left, take a left again. The gate's there. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, so we'll see you on that day. Cool. I'll put the astro to. That was weird. A secret gym? Hey, guess what? There's a new gym in Morton. What? A new gym in Morton? What? A new gym in Morton? There's a new gym in Morton! Hmm. So we are going to announce to winner now. What we're going to do is...